What is up everyone, this is MoTutorials here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the error there is not enough memory to complete this operation on your Windows PC. So to kick it right off, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a, a, a window folder, so sorry, a file explorer right here, and we're going to go into this PC. Now in here, you can either right click into this PC or right click inside here and go to properties. In here, we're basically going to click into change settings, and we are going to go to advanced. And in here, we're going to basically change the performance settings. And over here, we're going to click into advanced and we're going to do change. So this is the virtual memory section. We're basically changing up. So if you notice over here, um, obviously nothing's popping up because I only have the C drive. A lot of you may have more different drives for like different purposes, like games or like the OS. Usually a lot of windows do that or people tend to do that. I just have one drive. It's the C drive. It's system managed, but you're going to basically want to do that and you want to basically do custom size now this is where you want to basically choose and allocate what you want to do so if you can look over here it's allocate like again for me i only have one drive so as you can see the recommended is 3000 the currently allocated is all of it technically and the minimum is only 16 megabytes now this is completely up to you and how much you're trying to allocate how much you're trying to do you want to be obviously careful and like cognizant of how much you're trying to do because again if it's a games drive maybe you want to give it more if it's the drive that's having issues maybe you want to accurately allocate them yourself rather than letting the system do it and see and tweak and see which one ends up working and not causing the issues once you press ok and you put in this the amount is most is going to tell you to restart the computer and then when you try to run the program or software or whatever you should be good to go and the error should be kind of going away um like i said this usually happens when you have multiple drives there's just not enough allocation happening because there's multiple things happening so you want to be cognizant and be sure to on, you know where and basically how and what to do um so yeah that's basically that's how you resolve this error and you're good to go um if you guys overall like this video please smash that like button helps out if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and that more tutorials out